Hey family, thank you all so much for tuning in. I pray you're well. I'm excited to see you guys and I have a word and a song for y'all. So listen, I know you're excited. Those of you who have been praying for me to sing again, this is your answer prayer today. I have a song, so we're going to jam today. But listen, I wasn't going to share this word initially because I thought it was just for me. But the Lord confirmed it yesterday for me to go ahead and release it based off of just the evidence that I've seen this week. And so I released a word, I believe, on Monday here on YouTube about you not forcing it. Like God has given you an answer. He's given you a command. He's showing you what to do. And a lot of you see or know what he's shown you to do, but yet you're fearful of the unknown. So you haven't stepped out. Some of you, you want steps two, three, four, five, and six before you do what the Lord says. And then some of you, you're just not hearing him at all, even though he's speaking, but you're not able to see it because of the veil. Like there has to be an unveiling. God's going to clarify that for you when you move away from the distraction, from the thing that's hurting you, okay? From the thing that's keeping you bound, whatever it is, whether it's a person, whether it's a place or a thing, right? And so God wants you to come up higher. That means go into prayer, go into worship. When you worship him, that brings your spirit higher so that you can hear from him, that rises you above the noise, that lets your flesh go and it allows your spirit to accelerate or to ascend. Yes, so that you can hear what thus says the Lord to you. And so a lot of you are passing over or crossing over. You're in your Exodus season. And so on the Hebrew calendar, we just came out of the Passover. It was a little late this year. I believe it was the 22nd of April through the 30th. And so this is a season where a lot of you are in your Exodus. Like there's another group of you that are coming out of exile. And so Passover signifies the liberation of the Israelites out of Egypt, out of destruction so that they could cross over into freedom. And so this is what God is trying to do for you. He's giving you a command so that you can cross over from whatever has you spiritually bound to everything that he has for you. The freedom, the abundance, the joy, the peace, the new life that he wants to give you. And so this is what the Lord did in my life because I'm in exile to just another level in my purpose, right? And so for me, it's a business decision that I had to make. And so between last week and this week, I was having a series of meetings um, just to shorten it up. I know that this is what I needed. Like I knew that this is what I had been praying for. This is what just aligned to the vision that God has given me. I felt great about the people that I'm working with. All of this, like everything was just, you know, but I still felt the Lord tell me to hold just a moment on it, like spend some more time with him. And that's what I did because he wanted to show me something and he did. He showed me in a dream. So the very day that I had my last meeting with the people I'm working with, I was like, okay, I need to press in a little bit more because I feel God is showing me to do that. And so that's what I did. He gave me a dream that night. He gave me the revelation the next morning. And then as he revealed it to me, I was just like, Lord, like, okay, I know like everything is aligned, but I'm like, this is a huge decision. Like I just, you know, I just want to be sure because I cannot make the wrong move. And this is how some of you feel right now. Like, you know, God has told you to move. You know, he's told you to start the business. You know that he's called you to even leave your job, some of you, and you don't know what's next, right? Or leave the toxic relationship or whatever it is. And so you just want to be sure because you don't want to make the wrong decision, right? And so as I'm praying and I'm like, Lord, you know, like, I just don't want to make the wrong decision. And as I'm saying those words, the song came blasting in my spirit by Shalimar. I can't remember the year that the song came out, but I think it was sometime in the 70s. But this is what I hear as I'm saying, I don't want to make the wrong decision. I hear, make that move right now, baby. You only go around once in a lifetime. Make that move right now baby come on y'all and this is what god is saying to you 
He's saying your door of opportunity is open. He's saying that you, yes, you only go around once in a lifetime. He has so much more for you than your present situation, okay? So as I hear the song, I'm like, okay, I feel joy come in my heart, but I'm like, let me listen to the song so that I can hear the lyrics because I haven't heard this song in so long and I only really knew the chorus of the song. And so as I go and search it up so I can watch it on YouTube, the first video that popped up, somebody posted the song and I'll put it in the description down below, but the song is playing and the picture that is on the screen is of the New York City skyline, like downtown. So as soon as I saw it, I knew it was business. I knew the Lord was confirming like, yes. So you see buildings downtown, that means business. Some of you, if you even had a dream about that and God showed you downtown or tall buildings, business, like go forward, right? And so, oh, I feel God on that. And so anyway, I'm looking at this image and then the, the hue of the picture is like golden. And I was just talking about this on Monday about the golden hour, right? So it's like a golden hue, like the sun is just shining, but it's so gold. You'll see it when you uh, play the video. But listen, as soon as I lay my eyes on it, I'm like, huh, okay. So then I start listening to the words, right? And so here it goes. So many times by holding back, I let the good things pass me by. Come on. So God was saying, don't hold back. Like so many times I've done it in my life. So many times you have too. holding back, letting the good things pass you by, letting the door of opportunity pass you by like your exit, right? Then it says, and then one day I asked myself the reason why. So God is trying to say, oh, y'all see that reason why? <laughs> Did y'all hit that with me? Please drop it in the comment. If you sing it and you hit that reason why, you see how I went up them steps? Yeah, God is trying to get you to come up some octaves. Come on, somebody. Is that the right word? <laughs> yes. He's trying to get you to come up and realize the reason why. Like, why do you keep allowing the door to pass you by? The opportunity, rather, to pass you by. Come on, somebody. <laughs> and then it says... And like an answer from above, you came into my life and showed me one thing for sure. With love, nothing is certain, but we know it is. You've got to go for it when you feel it. Everybody, everybody needs somebody to love and I choose you, baby. So make that move right now, baby. <laughs> So listen, this is a love song too, right? And so this is twofold because God is talking about his love. Let me just get into the scripture right quick. This is John 14, 20 through 21. And so God is saying this to you today. Verse 20 says, on that day, you will realize that I am in the father. This is what Jesus is saying. And you are in me and I am in you. Here's the key verse. Verse 21, whoever has my commands and keeps them, is the one who loves me. I'm going to read that again. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my father and I too will love them and show myself to them. And so God is saying, yes, you're going to show me that you love me by obeying what I have commanded you to do. I already love you. I already chose you. This is what the song is saying. And I choose you. Yes. So make that move. He's saying I already chose you. You've been chosen from the beginning, but I need you to make that move to align to my will, to align to my plan and purpose for your life. And this is what I feel he is highlighting that many of you are about to rededicate your life back to him. Some of you who have just been lukewarm, kind of in the world, out the world, like he is calling you back to him. And then some of you, this is just an invitation for the first time to receive Christ because he is in the father. Okay. And he's in you. His Holy Spirit is in you and you are one with him and you are one with the father. And so this is how he's going to reveal himself to you. This is how he's going to reveal the plans of God to you through the Holy Spirit, the gift that he left all of us before he ascended to heaven, before he went back home to sit at the right hand of our father, after he gave his life 
for your sins. It is a life for a life. So he's come. Jesus came to give you life and life more abundantly. So why not receive what he's already given you freely? This is what he's trying to do. This is what he's trying to show you. This is what he's trying to lead you into. Thank you, Lord. And so, yes, there's a line in the song that says, if you make that move with me, I'll be yours eternally. And this is what God was showing me, that rededication and invitation to submit yourself really for real, for real to the will of God, to Christ, to allow him to be the Lord of your life for real this time. Thank you, Lord. And so... There's one more line that I want to share, and it says, I knew something was missing because I feel brand new, and motivation is in my heart whenever I'm with you. So that is that partnership with God. And so as you partner with God to receive what he has commanded you, as you do that, you're going to feel a refreshing that's going to bring the motivation back to your heart. As I said, when I heard that song, it was like a joy came over me, right? To just know like, yes, this is what I'm supposed to be doing, right? God just sealed that up so beautifully for me and he's doing it for you too. So you're going to feel a refreshing within you over the promise when you spiritually come into agreement with what God is showing you to do. This will motivate you to stay the course, to do what he's asking you to do, even though you may be afraid of the unknown. So God is saying to keep your heart postured in him so that you remain motivated, so that you can endure through your exodus season. He intends for this season to be one of joy, one of peace, one that you learn to trust him in so that you don't have to go through this again, right? Don't turn an 11 day journey into 40 years. Like, come on somebody, don't be wandering in the wilderness, going back forth and around and this way, when you just go straight ahead to where God is trying to lead you. And so he wants you to let go of your inhibitions. This is self doubt, this is lack of confidence and uh, self-consciousness, right? Like develop a God consciousness, meaning trust him that he's the Lord of your life, that father is your husband first, right? That he's your provider, your protector. He's going to see you through. Don't get sent the roundabout way because of your fear or because of unbelief or your lack of trust in God. And so I pray that this word has been a blessing for you wherever you fall in this word, wherever you need to make your move, whether it is just reuniting and reconnecting with the Lord, whether it is a physical move, whether it is business, ministry, investing in yourself, marriage even. Yes, some of you, you know it's time, right? And some of you are fearful to make that move. Those of you who know it's your time, especially men of God, come on. You know that God has been highlighting that it is your season, it's your time to find your wife, right? Or you know who she is and you're afraid to make that move. So take that back to the Lord. Don't take it from me, but listen to the song. Listen to the song. I pray that it ministers to you, but just know that God is not going to keep confirming it. Like he will if he needs to, but for some of you where he's gone silent, he's not going to tell you another time because your door of opportunity is now. It is time to go now. It is go time. Make your move. Make your move in Jesus. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know what happened to the volume on this part, but I was just thanking you all for tuning in and for your support of this ministry, those of you who are sowing so generously into my life and the ministry. May the Lord continue to bless you 100 and 1,000 fold in the mighty name of Jesus. Play the word back to get it into your spirit and share it with someone if they came to mind. All right. I love you guys so much with the love of Christ. Most importantly, Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you soon.